One Alabama lawmaker wants to eliminate the state's income tax and change the state's sales tax and replace those with a tax based on consumption. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Connor Board. Mike has the night off. Our state capitol bureau reporter Rashad Hudson has more. State Representative Mike Holmes has had this proposal on the table for years, but now that there's a similar bill in Congress, he believes now is the time for Alabama to restructure its tax code. If one Alabama lawmaker gets his way, the state could join nine other states without an income tax. And our total uh, burden has continued to slide. Therefore, our, if, on a, if nothing changed, we would be going backwards in revenue. Republican State Representative Mike Holmes wants to do away with the income tax and sales tax and replace it with a tax based on what people use. Holmes says his bill will attract more businesses to the state. They don't want to run from here to a tax income, uh, income tax state. They want to be in an income tax free environment in their state. Under the Alabama Economic Freedom Act, state, county, and municipal sales tax would be a flat rate of 8.03%. If you think that the biggest problem in the state is that wealthy folks and big corporations pay too much in taxes already, this would be the plan for you. Chris Sanders with Alabama Rise, a group who advocates for low-income families, disagrees with the bill. We're concerned that this wouldn't, might not bring in enough money to prevent massive education cuts. Here's a breakdown of Alabama's tax collection. Income tax makes up almost half the state's tax collection at 48%, followed by sales tax at 38%. If this measure is approved by the legislature, it would then go before the people of Alabama for a vote. Putting the Valley first, Rashad Hudson, WZDX News.